Hi everyone, so today I want to try out the Anna Griffin Flower Pot Pop-Up Card Making Kit that I just got in from AutoShip uh, through HSN there. Oh, what was that? Sorry, something <laughs> fell. Um, so if I have links in the description box for any of the items I'll be using, those would be um, affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. Having said that, this is not available on HSN yet as I'm filming, but if it is, when you see it, <laughs> they'll be linked in the description box if they have any to bring back. I know sometimes uh, some of the auto ships will later show up like on the the site of the actual you know person like Anna Griffin or Crafts Companion or Diamond Press or whatever. Uh, that might be another option for you if you missed it. But let's open this up and we'll make a little flower pot pop up card. So of course I'm thinking Mother's Day. We'll see what these things say on them. Um, it looks a lot like the teacup one, but it's a flower pot, <laughs> so we'll check that out. Some inspo here, and then, of course, um, instructions. And with these guys, I pretty much follow the instructions because, you know, I want you guys to be able to follow along too once you receive it. But the only thing I do differently is here I cut mine in half. These, the part that sticks from the pop-up to the card base because I don't like card bases that don't open completely flat and I always get comments that people say just glue it and it'll still open flat and I it, yes and no <laughs> so sometimes it'll kind of want to tear at it or it buckles and it makes like this weird ridge I just don't like it so for me personally I don't like it this is what I do I've been making pop-ups for decades <laughs> okay so this is just my little pet peeve so of course do what you like it's not a big deal um that's just what I do and that's what I prefer so um so I'll do that. And then, of course, we decorate them. So, let's see what we have here. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> of course, our pieces, our main pieces are in here. Let's... I had to take my nail polish off, guys, because it started chipping. And, of course, this nail is already cracking right here. This is like every, every time. It's always the middle finger nail, and it's always, like, right down there. So I cut it down, and I just want to let you guys know because it's a bummer and I think about it all the time and I used to repair my nails but it's it's no use they'll still kind of break even with a fiberglass patch or whatever is I have all that stuff you know acrylic gel it's eh, not worth not worth trying for me anymore at least um, okay so let's see we have this portion oh you know these are probably the pieces that go inside so this is the pot itself and of course you're gonna pick whichever one you like um, and then you need pieces that go on the inside that are going to hold up your little flower pieces. So that's probably what those other guys are. So you have like this pinky stripe, not my favorite look, but eh, coral. Um, like a little geometric kind of star pattern. Oh, this one's cute with the little lettering or the like words. And they have that in like a minty, or not minty, more of a sage. Eh, not even sage, still more green. More of a limey green, huh? Uh, stripe. That one there. Am I skipping over some? Because I was like, oh, I like the lettering one. They have it here, but they don't have it over here in this color. Um, more of a chartreuse kind of green. I guess that's what it probably is. And then the wording here. Yeah, so they have the lettering. They don't have a pink lettering one? I would have loved to see a pink lettering one. Nope. All right, so those are the bases. These are the base, the little saucer <laughs> that holds your water from going everywhere. Um, again. And then those center pieces. We have several toppers. Well, not really toppers. Well, hmm. it depends. Are you going to use this on the inside of the card or, a, you know, wherever? You are wonderful in every way. Sending sunny thoughts to brighten your day. Uh, thanks a bunch. Sending a bouquet of hugs. That might be the better one that I want to use here. Life is better with a friend like you. I'm going to put this one to the side because I might use that one. Today is... A special day for sending all my love your way. Life is better. This one got kind of messed up. That's the one thing when they're just kind of throwing it in there. <laughs> that one's a little... Uh, you are so thoughtful. Today's... Okay. And, you know, wishing you a day blooming with happiness. Oh, that one's good, too. I guess not really geared towards Mother's Day because you think she would have one in there that says that. Uh, dimensionals, which is great. Uh, little flourishes. You see little bee, uh, bees. Bees. <laughs> butterflies oh there are bees <laughs> i'm like bees i was talking about these butterflies there are bees there are like flourishes all that kind of stuff with the gold foiling lots of flowers um 
we'll go through these obviously when I go to use them but I do like that they are kind of larger and hopefully they take up a lot more space that's one thing when they're small flowers um, you're trying to fill up the space and make it look lush and you know with all these little guys it's a lot of choices to make right um, thinking of you love you so much thank you I like that there are banners and circles in here for my friend really cute let's okay so cream envelopes we have these little pieces that are like your signature card so if you want to write on this or whatever it is and that's really cute I'm just trying to see how they're using the different pieces like here she has the sentiment on the outside she has one of these little topper bits there and then that little signature card area and then of course in the back they would say handmade by and then these beautiful patterns and they open long ways like this. this I love this one this is so cute it reminds me of like an old school like handkerchief or something and uh, this one with the pretty pretty little swags on the sides very different style aren't they I don't know that's pretty cool I like that color there with the little um, like little garland swags on the sides this is more of a purple violet kind of violet lavender whatever <laughs> a little periwinkle-ish almost sorry a little blue purple uh, this little pretty design they look very old school like something about them seems like I don't know very cute though I love it little flowers here oh this with the roses like just really sweet I really do like this design um, looking like just pretty leaves but like sage almost with the green though and then this little guy very old school I don't know so what I'm going to do is look at the card bases and look at these pieces and see which one I want to go with. And that might involve opening it up, you know, kind of seeing what it is that I want to use. Like this one looks like it should take like a blue, some blue stars pattern. You can mix and match of course, but I suppose you're supposed to use the same ones. Let me see. This one would be this guy. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go through and see which one I prefer to use with this card base because I want to use this card base and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm going to go with the blue lettering just because I had more blue. I wish they would have had like a striped blue like they do with the pink because I think that would have been cute, but we're going with this one. All right. So you're going to need one of these guys of course a little saucer and just one of these supports in the center and then of course everything that you want to use but I usually do that later so after I see what it is that I'm trying to get done here so select according flower pot but oh we read that part two is just this here and gluing these guys down now if you want to use a runner go for it or a liner tape I like wet glues as they hold up longer better over time in my opinion and all we're going to do is glue this down. This is very pretty. <laughs> of course, immediately as soon as I do this, oh, this is very pretty. <laughs> I'm going to have to hold it, though, just those two uh, down because I'm using a wet glue, so it takes a little minute. That's it. And then you're going to apply adhesive um, on tab A, this part here. And basically going to fold it over to touch this other side, of course. But I'll be right back as soon as this is ready. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and give myself a little score. Why not? This guy also needs to be scored. Okay, so I just scored those two, but for now we want this to hold on. I want to see something. Actually, it's already holding. I want to see if it's going to be completely flat. Okay, so we're just going to glue this tab to the other side. And of course it's going to be flat. In the picture it looks like they rounded it, but I'm like, that can't be right because you're going to put it in the card, so it has to be flat. So I like the way they color coordinate like this A and A goes together right here. And the reason I did that is so I can hold it all at once and all my glue is going to set up instead of waiting for this and then waiting for that. Okay, I'll be right back. The next thing is we're on step five basically and we're just gonna put this into our saucer but I'm going to cut mine in half if possible because, well, yeah, it's possible. I'll be back. <laughs> okay guys, so step five, all it is is to take this guy and this is going to open up a little bit right oh it's like one of those little water cups have you guys ever done origami where you make yourself a little water cup and basically it's going to go in here and there so B and B so obviously these outer two slits and this middle one is going to hold our support and I'm not going to cut this in half until uh, later so just 
Hold on. Very interesting. We've got to kind of curve this guy as much as we do. <laughs> I don't know if you see, I'm kind of squeezing it. And get that over, 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 over. Okay. And basically step five, this step and the next step are the same thing. This is tricky. <laughs> What's funny is that it actually wants to just slide in there. Um, on this next one it says to apply adhesive and then stick it down. So I'm going to be very careful in doing this because it wants to move away. And again, I'm just keeping it like this because this one actually does come over this way. Look at that. I'm going to do this side, hold on to it. I'm not even going to worry about the other side until I'm done. Look at this. <laughs> That is so funny. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze that, hold it really, really well, and like I said, not even worry about this side until I get there. It's almost tearing, you guys. That tension that it has, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this again. Maybe giving it a really good squeeze so that it lays off that tension a little bit. I cannot release this, especially because I'm using a white glue, until it is set up. So I will be back after a little bit. But it is doing a little something funky right there. Oh my gosh, this back. is really scary because it, you know, obviously we do want to curve it for when it pops up. And it does say that to form a curved flower pot, obviously. But um, just the way it pulls, it's kind of scary. Okay, I'm going to pop this in here and turn it this way as much as I can. I want that pink to be disappeared, but there we go. There we go. And I put the glue over here. And let that set up for a good while. Also, a little less scary, but still not great. <laughs> so I'm going to hold on to this until that sets up. Well, it was a little bit tricky getting the other piece because, again, I didn't want to harm anything. I am going to cut this in half. I'm going to cut it in half after I add this piece and then glue it. And then all I'm going to do is just snip here and snip here. And that way I didn't have to cut it in half and work with two panels, you know. Uh, just because that's what I choose to do. You don't have to do that again. You can just glue it right down and you're good to go. Um, it will do some funky stuff, but <laughs> that's up to you. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, so D is the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter. But we are going to stick that through that center slot. If we can get it in there, there we go. So that's the piece that's going to hold some of our flowers for us. And I'm going to pull this down as much as I can, make sure it's clicking in there. Okay. And I'm going to add, and if you hear any construction, it's because everyone on my block wanted to get solar panels <laughs> last few days, last few weeks here. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hold this down, honestly, I just want to really make sure it's making contact and it's hard to do, so I can't touch this other side. Okay, I'm going to let this all set up because I'm going to cut this and glue it down, okay? Because that's what I like to do. Again, you don't have to do that. You can just move on to uh, step nine, <laughs> where you just add the glue and pop it in here. But that's not my favorite. Also, how's this going to fold like this? I'm just trying this out. <laughs> Interesting. I always like to audition it just to make sure we're good. And then, of course, it's going to open up. Boop. See? Ooh, that pink... Almost slid back out. That is so scary, you guys. Look. Oh, it's even tearing a little bit. There's just too much tension on this. But we'll put this part in the front. And that way we'll be looking at this and not that. Okay. Um, you know what? I guess we're ready. I was going to let it set up, but why not? Where are my scissors? And what I'm going to do, and this is basically going to make it into two pieces is I'm going to cut right on this score line, right up to this tab where it's open. Okay. So, I'm just cut, cut, cut. Boop. Now that's released. You do not have to do this. This is just what I prefer. And I'm repeating that because people will leave me comments like they do every time I make one of these videos. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I like it to be open. Okay. 
there. So now it's been released. It's two separate pieces. Now let's look at this and make sure the ripped part isn't in the front. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't do the best job of cutting it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I should have uh, paid attention a little bit better. But I did not, and here we are. All right, so I'm putting glue all over this. And then glue all over this side. Just this part. And again, making sure that's not the torn side. I'm just going to put this down right here, right up to this score line, right, on the card. And again, I'm using a wet glue. I don't really like to audition it till it's more set up. But there it is. And then when you open it up, oh, this is so scary. <laughs> when we open it, it should just pop open. Oh, God. That is so scary. I even hear tearing. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway. This is a weird one, guys. I'm not going to lie. Because when you close it up, it's great. And then... <laughs> That's very scary. And I've never seen one that has that much of an opening whenever I've cut it, you know? So I have a feeling this one would be especially funky if we didn't cut it. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. disenchanted with this so I took a moment to pick out the things I was gonna pick out while my son was making his lunch so <laughs> put this to the side um, I think on the outside here I'm gonna put this these things so I'm gonna do that yeah I think this is gonna go back and this is crazy so I gave it you know it's space you know obviously because I did this thing with a saucer that's again a personal choice if you want to blame it on me go ahead but um, I think even if it's tighter it's still you guys saw when I was trying to work with the thing it was already tearing right and it was one solid piece so I don't know let me know what you guys think or how your kid is going um, this is uh, gonna go back I hardly ever return things but What's a bummer, though, is that I love that these flowers are so big that you don't have to put so many that it looks really cute really fast, you know? But that doesn't really help anybody <laughs> at this point. At least it doesn't help me. So hopefully yours isn't uh, giving you issues. I don't know if these are stickers or not, but I'm just going to stick them down anyway like this. And I guess since it's going back, I can just go all out, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to finish up what I was planning on doing and then send them back. So this guy I'm just going to have in here. Again, you kind of have to pay attention. Okay. As you're gluing it down, what's sticking out of the sides, right? You don't want it to stick out too much. But at the same time, it looks cuter if it was. But um, And then this side. Okay, I'm putting glue on the front side of this part to touch the front part of the pop-up area. I'm sorry, uh, so it faces the front, but this front piece needs to touch the back of that little support that was in the center. So I'm just trying to do that, make sure that's getting done. I uh, probably would have done this a little bit differently, but, you know, like I said, you got to pay attention to what all is sticking out on the sides. What a bummer! I really wanted this to work out, but it's just not working out for me, again. And look how cute. And then the flowers pop up. I mean, that is very adorable. I, why is there so much tension <laughs> already? I guess maybe you can cover that up somehow so it's not noticeable. But that's not great, you know? And if I open it up even more like I would want to, it's like tearing. Um, and then you can put some more like in the front here. But since it's rounded, it's kind of hard to do that. I'm not going to do that. And I picked out some other extra pieces just because that's what she had. Like some decoration on here. But like, how do you even do that? I suppose this one can get glued down. 
I'll glue this one down and then the other one I'll put some puffy stuff to keep it some dimensional adhesive I tell you when things don't go my way I start like losing my mind right now I can't even think of the name for dimensional adhesive <laughs> like some puffy stuff I don't know uh, let me hold that closed for a second to hold on while well, it's flat since now maybe you want to decorate it before you No, that'd be hard to do I would say well it's still flat before you add it here I don't know that that would be the best time to decorate it and I wanted to add like little flowers on here so maybe we'll do some dimensional on that that way it has some give what a bummer I know some people had an issue with like the window box one, which I loved. Um, the flowers are too small in that one. I'd rather if they were bigger like this. But this one is just... I mean, I guess if you don't mind the, <laughs> the tearing. <laughs> um, really cute. It would have been really cute. And then on here we add... A little one of these guys and I would probably go with like this light blue oh that's a sticker but it's coming off completely okay there we go and this is what's weird when you send things like this back I, I'm gonna send this card back with it I guess because it's part of the kit and I don't want to keep it but um, so you can put that there and then maybe put a little flower there too right something I just had these flowers sitting here that's cute. Now again, I don't know if these are stickers or not, and I know you guys have told me if it's beige on the back or white on the back, it's a sticker or not or whatever. It doesn't look like a sticker. That doesn't seem right. All right. Well, anyway, we'll put this down just to finish it off to have a finished card. But what a bummer! What a bummer. Okay. This one's just all kinds of issues. Like, honestly, as I'm sitting here, like, you can't even... You have to pop it up, right, to be able to even see what's going on, because it really wants to bring it back in. Cute idea. Maybe this is something we can make up ourselves, right? Actually, I'm sure people have videos out there making, like, a flower pot pop up, because this doesn't take a lot to make it. And I was thinking about doing something different like this because I normally wouldn't put something on the side. So about there. This one should be a sticker. Let's see. Yes. What a bummer. If these kits weren't that expensive I would honestly keep it because I like everything that's in here. But you know they're kind of high. I actually wanted to pop this up. But does it even matter anymore? It doesn't. <laughs> I'll just leave it flat. All right. Sorry, guys. They don't all work out, and I'm sure somebody else, you know, had a better go. I hope. I hope. I might, that would just be what I would hope, is that you guys have a better go with it. And then this guy I was going to put there, just something different, and then this little butterfly. Cute. Oh, what a bummer. Oh well. All right, let's put this away and add some dimensionals on the back of my butterfly friend. And here we go. Oh well, whoever unpacks this at HSN will have a nice little card. <laughs> <laughs> and with the kit there. So sending you or sending a bouquet of hugs. I'm telling you, look at this thing. Okay. <laughs> so pretty. Such a bummer. I'll have some images for you guys. Um, again, it's not available quite yet. I'm sure you guys are jumping <laughs> to go pick it up. No, I'm just joking. Um, I, I don't know. It had a lot of tension and I could feel that from the very beginning. And so this okay, is what happens. You know me. I can't just uh, walk away. I did... Um, 
chat online with HSN and I realized I don't have the box for this, okay? So um, I went on there and I was like, hey, you know, I'm so sorry. I just uh, make like review videos. I just finished using this and it's like defective. I don't know if it's a design actually, if you think about it, it's a design or is it the, um, it has to be the design because the way it's spaced out, it's too tight, you know? Anyway, and um, so, I said, but I threw away the box, so can I get a partial refund? Because I was like, well, I could probably still use the cards, but I forgot the cards have that big old circle in the center, right? Saying like, hey, this is where you do that at, you know? And um, so I was like, maybe like half the price, because I can still use like the other decorative items or whatever. So I just threw it out there on the chat, and the guy says, oh, you can still return things without the original packaging. And I was like, what? <laughs> that? has blown my mind. I've been shopping HSM for what, like 20 years or something? <laughs> I've never returned something because, um, you know, I, like I hardly return things, but like sometimes it will be, I'm like, oh, I don't have the package anymore. But they don't care about that. As long as you have the slip or obviously you can print a slip online, you can say, uh, start your return there online and they will, um, you can print the return slip right there. Even the return like postage if you want, instead of um, buying it yourself or however. You can print both of the things out, the return form and the, uh, the other part. And I've heard from a lot of you guys too, like, oh, I already threw away the packaging, I can't return it, you know? I don't know why I always had that in my mind too, but apparently they don't care. So I was like, you're kidding, I told them you're kidding me. Like, that is uh, game changing. So just so you know, guys, if you throw away the box, the original box, you can still turn it. Um, and then in the meantime, I thought, you know, I already know how these videos go. And I know y'all love Anna. We all love Anna. I love Anna. Okay. Whenever something doesn't work out, people leave me comments and they're just like, not that they're trying to be rude. They're just like, oh, you should have done this to make it work or whatever, you know? And so I made another one, just like it says in the instructions, just so you guys can see. I haven't opened this yet because I use wet glue and I want to open it together. Um, so this is just without cutting it because, you know, I always like to cut the base like I've talked about in the video. So just so you guys see what happens. And um, here it is. This feels very tight and scary. And I can already see that it's tearing <laughs> like right there. Oh, gosh, you guys. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. There, it doesn't open. <laughs> you guys, that's the whole problem. And I understand you're... Oh, do you hear that? It's tearing. Just like the same. And I, and I even said that. I was like, I have a feeling it's going to be even worse with this way than the way I do it. Because the way I do it is giving it more movement. You know, it's giving it more room to open up. And this, I mean, has torn. So, whatever, I'm returning it. I just wanted to come back and show you. And this is that kink I'm telling you guys about. And if you really want to tuck it in there, it'll be fine. It'll open up a little bit more. You have a little bit less of a kink. But it'll still be there. I mean, this is... That's kind of why like, I'm telling you, I, sh I just give it that cut and just let it open up. But this one is just a no, at least for me. So hopefully, like I said, you guys have a better go at it. And I did want to show this because I know people are... People always leave me nice comments <laughs> <laughs> something about what I did uh, but it's just it's just the design is, isn't quite there unless you don't mind that it's ripped like that and you want to give it to somebody sure go ahead <laughs> I don't know uh, so anyway guys all right I just wanted to show you guys I'm just gonna shove this in here and return the whole thing just like this and I still have this slip so I will get in a box right now and return it I just didn't know that you could return without the plastic well, like without the the box which is I mean, I'm telling you, that's enlightening. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.